So you said after the game you got a Snapchat about the triple team. Yeah. <laughs> but when you watched it on tape and you saw the extra tension that you're, you're getting now, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, it's obviously uh, says a lot about what I'm doing, which is nice. Anytime they're, they got a scheme to put two or more guys on me. But um, more importantly, it's it's open up, opening up opportunities for other guys on the defense to make plays, so that's always good. How different is it this week? I mean, you, you obviously have been careful to go one game at a time, one game at a time, but this is when it really kicks in. This is, these are the games that, that people have circled for time. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest game of our year so far, and uh, we try to treat every game like that, but we're, we're facing a really good team. They. They, they're good every year, and it's always a. These next two games are always a huge game every year, so we're going to treat it just like that. Joey, what are you coached to do when you face a triple team? I mean, I can't imagine there's a move you have. Yeah, just pretty much try to hang in there. I, I, I mean, when it happens, I just try to fight as hard as I can to, to get out of it, not to get pushed back. Uh, couldn't say there's really a technique to, to use, though. Joey, Coach Meyer was saying that. Uh, Michigan State's defensive line and then the defensive line here. Obviously, that's two of the best defensive lines in the country. Yeah. Just what what does a great defensive line do for a defense? I know it's kind of an obvious question, but how does it change yeah. things? Well, we got to stop the run game, most importantly. They can't run inside the tackles. Uh, that's our number one goal. Uh, got to make sure the ball bounces outside. And then once I think once we dominate the run game, that's when we really uh, get after them in the pass. And, and that's what we got to do as a D line. What did you guys get fixed uh, against the run, in your opinion, uh, after those that spate of games where people yeah. were having some success, especially the quarterbacks? What what, what did y'all fix? You think? Joe, uh, I don't. Else? I don't think it's a specific thing. I just think we've worked on getting better every week, and uh, we got the talent. Definitely have the talent on our defense, and when when we click, it's it's something great to watch. Is Raekwon, when you watch video now? Do you see Raekwon playing at a high level? What, what, what do uh, you see about his game in particular? Yeah, I mean, I think the whole defense is playing at a high level. When you have guys like Tommy and Joel and Mike and uh, Didi on the inside holding up two blockers or holding up guys um, so they can't get to the linebacker, mm -hmm. that's that's where the real praise is. But, I mean, uh, Raekwon's having a great year so far and had a great game last week. How much – Stupid question, but how much pressure is it on a guy like that when the job is getting done? For now, it's like him, mano a mano, to make the play. Yeah. And stuff. I mean, there are still guys who can't do that. Do you see him really coming along in that oh, regard? I mean, I could. I, we trust all our linebackers yeah. to make open field tackles like that, uh, one on one. So, so we're never worried that he won't make the play. When you grew up, you were you were the son of a, a pro football player, and uh, you know you had a pro football playing uncle. Did you? Look forward to games like this where you know everybody's watching. Uh, you know, high, high pressure, high presence game. That uh, when you were a little kid, or is yeah, it just I mean, another game to you. I think the great part about being at Ohio State is that everybody's watching every week. Doesn't matter how big of a game it is, but uh, of course you come to come to Ohio State to play in the big games, and this is college game day, whatever big hype and. Uh, it's obviously exciting yeah. as a team to to have a challenge like this and try to get through it. You guys won a game last week by 25 points, and you drop for the first time in the coach's call from first to second. Y'all, that was the last holdout. <laughs> yeah, <from number laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, Clemson wins by 10 uh, over a three-loss team, a three-win team uh, at Syracuse. But do you pay attention to that, or is it is just uh, your focus on making the top four and moving on? Yeah, I think as long as we handle our business, we control our destiny. Um, if we win our games, I think everything's going to gonna fall into place. Unless you surprise everybody and come back next year, this will be your last game. Yeah. You. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's so crazy. I haven't really thought about it at all yet. Um, it's hard to even think that three years is almost over already. Uh, when people tell you when you're younger, they're like, oh, make sure you don't wish time by, it flies, and you don't believe them until you're actually, it seems like yesterday I was coming here for the first time, so um, it's definitely going to be an emotional day for me. What do you know about Michigan State's offense, Joey? Uh, I know that they are they have a great quarterback and a great left tackle, um, and I mean, I haven't watched a lot of film on them this year. Of course, I've watched last year's team, but uh, we'll see. 
tomorrow when I start watching film. What that stands out, though, I mean, from playing against Connor Cook for the last couple of years at quarterback? Uh, I mean, he's one of the best we face. Uh, he's just poised in the pocket, stands back there. He's a big guy, he, hard to bring down, and uh, he's going to make plays against us, but we're going to just have to – limit what he does. Does the declaration uh, time when you have to decide whether you're coming back or not, you know, that deadline, does it does it make a, a moment like this or a week like this sort of awkward, you know, uh, uh, Joey, from the standpoint of I think anybody who plays here would like to make that last yeah. run out, you know, with the, yeah. with the rows and stuff? Um, no, I really haven't thought about it a lot. Um, it's for our seniors and I, I'm not a senior yet, yeah. so uh, yeah, I really haven't thought about it much. Joey, with what you Two were saying about, about not wishing time by. And say, that, say that again? What you were saying earlier about when you're yeah. younger and the guys tell you like it goes by fast and that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Do you think, are you any different this year than you were your first two years, maybe just realizing that kind of stuff? Or Coach yeah. Meyer said some things about how maybe, you know, you done some different things as a leader or that kind of yeah. stuff. Do you think you're different? Yeah, I mean, you really don't. Uh, I mean, you could listen to what everybody says and whatever, but you really don't understand it until you go through it all with uh, cherishing every moment you have here. Um, it's it's really crazy that three years has flown by so quick, and now my brother's going to be taking my spot here next year. It's it's really exciting, but it's, it's still hard, even after all of that, to take every moment in one at a time, but I'm trying as best as I can to not wish time by and just take in every moment. Do you feel like the same kid who showed up here from Florida? Uh, definitely not. I have a lot of different mindsets, a lot of different goals on what I want to achieve personally. Uh, it's definitely changed a lot over the years. Like like what? Like just being... Just how I treat myself, how I treat myself, how I go about my business, the time I spend here, and really just what's important to me. Joey, with uh, your brother Last coming question. in here next year, is that yeah. maybe going to possibly weigh in on your decision to want to stick around for a year and maybe uh, mentor him a little bit? Yeah, I'd have to say the only possible thing that would keep me here is playing with Nicky, just to, not even playing with him, just to be able to be here and show him how it's going to be and just, I know he'll be fine, but it's just, it would be so nice to be here and help him through it, uh, but we'll see when the time comes. Joey, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. So that's a maybe. <laughs> <laughs>